The biogeoclimatic zones of British Columbia are a classification system used by the British Columbia Ministry of Forests for the Canadian province's 14 different ecosystems. The classification system exists independently of other ecoregion systems, one created by the World Wildlife Fund and the other in use by Environment Canada, which is based on one created by the Commission for Environmental Cooperation and also in use by the American Environmental Protection Agency .The system of biogeoclimatic zones was partly created for the purpose of managing forestry resources, but is also in use by the British Columbia Ministry of Environment environment and other provincial agencies. A biogeoclimatic zone is defined as, "...a geographic area having similar patterns of energy flow, vegetation and soils as a result of a broadly homogeneous macroclimate." All zones are officially abbreviated in capital letters at for alpine tundra, BWBS for boreal white and black spruce, and so on. Subzones have their connotative codes in lower case with the first letter denoting relative moistness and the second relative temperature, thus the northeastern BWBS with its warm thundery summers has been mapped as BWBS MW for moist warm, while the ALSEC Ranges subzone in the northwestern panhandle, stormy in all seasons with winds blowing from glaciers, is BWBS VK for very wet cool. Subzones may be divided into variants, each of which is denoted by a number. For example, the numerous variants of the interior cedar hemlock moist warm subzone are designated as ICHMW1, ICHMW2, etc. A variant may be divided into phases, such as ICHMC1A, the amabilis fir phase of the interior cedar hemlock moist cold subzone. The biogeoclimatic zones of British Columbia are Topic <inaudible> Alpine tundra at The Alpine tundra zone is the harshest and least populated biozone in the province. It occupies the high elevations of mountainous areas and is especially common in the coast range. The elevation range of this zone varies by area. In the southwest it starts at 1600 meters, 5200 feet. In the southeast, 2250 meters, 7380 feet. In the north from 1500 meters, 4900 feet, and in the northwest it can start as low as 1000 meters, 3300 Feet. Most life is found in the lower ranges of the zone. The terrain in this zone is dominated by ice, snow, rock, and glaciers. Glacier-related features like cirques, talus, alpine lakes and moraine are common. Climate is a major barrier to life, the growing season is extremely short. Mean average temperature usually ranges from 0 degrees Celsius (32 degrees Fahrenheit) to 4 degrees Celsius (39 degrees Fahrenheit), and even in summer the average temperature does not exceed 10 degrees Celsius (50 degrees Fahrenheit). The zone sees heavy precipitation, usually in the form of snow. Tree species are rarely found in this zone, and when they do grow, they take the low, sprawling Krumholtz form. Shrubs are common, especially dwarf evergreen species like partridge fit, kinnikinnick, crowberry, lingonberry, and alpine azalea. Grasses, heath, and sedges are also present. Wetter areas see a larger variety of plant species. Higher elevations are exclusively the realm of the lichens. Due to its harsh winters, few animals live in the zone year round. However, in the spring, summer, and fall, many species are found. Mountain goats, big-horned sheep, stone sheep, Roosevelt elk, black-tailed deer, mule deer, elk, and caribou all take advantage of summer growth in the zone. Gray wolves follow the ungulates. Bears, such as black and grizzly, enjoy the many berries of the alpine meadows in the zone. Smaller mammals like the wolverine, hoary marmot, the endangered Vancouver Island marmot, arctic ground squirrel, and the Siberian lemming are present. Birds of prey include the golden eagle and gerfalcon. Ground birds such as the ptarmigan nest in the alpine zone, while other bird species like the snow bunting and rosy finch venture upwards from the tree line. <laughs> 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 
topic spruce willow birch swb Found only in the north of the province, this zone occurs in the subalpine of the interior mountains. White spruce is the most abundant conifer in the spruce willow birch (SWB) zone, except at the upper parkland elevations, where subalpine fir dominates. Engelmann spruce and hybrid white times Engelmann spruce is a primary feature distinguishing the SWB from the more southerly ESSF zone. Subalpine fir is the most common associate of white spruce in the SWB zone. Black spruce Picea mariana, lodgepole pine and trembling aspen Populus tremuloides are relatively minor associates. Many spruce stands are quite open, with a well-developed shrub layer dominated by a variety of willows Salix glauca, S. planifolia, S. scularyana, S. bebiana and scrub birch Betula glandulosa. Other common shrubs include Potentilla fruticosa, Shepherdia canadensis, Empetrum nigrum, Vaccinium vetusidia, V. caespitosum, and Ledum groenlandicum. Common herbs are Linea borealis, Festuca altaica, Epilobium angustifolium, Lupinus arcticu, and Mertensia paniculata. In addition to the feather mosses Pleurosium shrubberry and Hylocomium splendens, the forest floor contains a diversity of lichens Coates et al. 1994. <laughs> Boreal white and black spruce BWBS. White spruce is the predominant tree species in the boreal white and black spruce BWBS, except in the Fort Nelson area where the poorly drained lowlands are dominated by black spruce. Engelmann spruce is absent, though some white times Engelmann hybrids may occur at southern margins of the zone bordering the SBS zone. Mixed stands of white spruce and trembling aspen often with a minor component of balsam poplar Populus balsamifera, birch Betula papyrifera, B. neoaliscana or lodgepole pine are the most common components of forest cover on warm mesic sites in the BWBS. On colder sites, e.g., on north-facing slopes, pure white spruce or mixtures of white and black spruces dominate. Lodgepole pine is the typical associate of white spruce on coarse textured parent materials, while balsam poplar spruce mixtures are frequent on floodplains. Subalpine fir is common in western parts of the zone, but is rare east of the Rockies. Wetland black spruce stands often have a minor component of slow-growing white spruce. Typical vegetation in boreal white spruce stands includes the common shrubs Rosa acicularis, Viburnum adule, Shepherdia canadensis, Salix bebiana, and Alnus viridis, with Ribes trist and Lonicera involucrata on wet sites, and Ledum groenlandicum and Vaccinium vetus idea on cold sites. Characteristic herbs are Linea borealis, Rubus pubescens, Mertensia paniculata, Petocytes palmatis, Pyrola asarifolia, Cornus canadensis, and Calamagrostis canadensis, with Equisetum spp. on wet sites. The thick carpet of moss is of Hylocomium splendens, Pleurosium shrubberry, and Tilium crista castrensis, and the lichen Peltigera aphthosa. topic subboreal pine spruce sbps white spruce is a distant second in importance to lodgepole pine in the subboreal pine spruce zone sbps it occurs most commonly in the understory to pine but scattered stands dominated by white spruce can be found on moist sites Pure Engelmann is absent, and any hybrids appear to have mainly white spruce characteristics. Lodgepole pine is the most common associate of white spruce in the SBPS. White spruce also occurs with trembling aspen in serral stands, and mixtures of black and white spruces occupy cold low-lying sites. Floodplain stands of black cottonwood Populus balsamifera SSP Trichocarpa and white spruce occur uncommonly. 
Typical understory vegetation of moist spruce ecosystems includes the shrubs Lonicera involucrata, Rosa acicularis, Shepherdia canadensis, Juniperus communis, Salix glauca, Betula glandulosa, Ribes lacusta, R. hudsonianum, and Viburnum adulae, and the herbs Cornus canadensis, Linea borealis, Epilobium angustifolium, Petocytes palmatis, Frigaria virginiana, Equisita marvans, Calamagrostis canadensis, and Metella nuda. In addition to the usual feather mosses Pleurosium shrubberi, Hylocomium splendens and Tilium crystocastrensis the moss layer characteristically includes Aulocomnium palusta and Peltigera, Cladina and Cladonia lichens Coates et al., 1994. <laughs> <laughs> Sub-boreal spruce Interior spruce, mostly hybrid white times Engelmann, with some pure white spruce, is dominant throughout the many subzones of the sub-boreal spruce (SBS) zone. Lodgepole pine is the most common associate of interior spruce in the SBS. Subalpine fir is abundant in cooler, moister subzones. Trembling aspen and Douglas fir (Sugar var. Glauca are often found with spruce on warmer, drier, more southerly subzones. Black cottonwood is the main associate of interior spruce on active floodplain sites, and mixtures of white and black spruces are common on wetlands. Understory vegetation in mesic spruce stands typically includes a moderately well-developed shrub layer dominated by Vaccinium membranaceum, Rubus parviflorus, Viburnum adulae, Rosa acicularis, Alnus viridis, a variety of herbs Cornus canadensis, Clintonia uniflora, Rubus pubescens, Rubus pedatus, Arnica cordifolia, Myanthemum racemosa, Orthilia secunda, Aurelia nudicorlis, and a well-developed carpet of feather mosses Pleurosium Tilium crista castrensis, Hylocumium splendens, Ritidiadelphus triquetris. Wetter spruce sites have Lonicera involucrata, Cornus cerisia, Gymnocarpium dryopteres, Tiarella trifoliata, Equisita marvans, and Mnium mosses. Characteristic species of spruce bog, fen, or swamp ecosystems are Salix spp, Betula glandulosa, Ledum groenlandicum, Carex spp, and Sphagnum moss Coates et al., 1994. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain hemlock MH. In coastal areas the MH is transitional between productive low elevation forests and treeless alpine tundra at. Unlike the interior high elevation transition zones SWB, ESSF, spruce is usually scarce or absent and mountain hemlock is abundant. Yellow cedar is also common, especially in the more maritime areas. The most common fir is Pacific silver fir and subalpine fir may also be plentiful. Fir is absent on Haida Gwaii. Some western hemlock may be present, especially at lower elevations where its proportion of hemlock cover may reach 50%. If western hemlock cover exceeds 50% of total hemlock cover, the site is considered to be within the CWH, the westernmost subzone. Wet hypermaritime MHWH on Haida Gwaii is atypical for its absence of fir and relative abundance of spruce. In this case, the spruce is Sitka spruce, which forms a site series with mountain hemlock and reed grass on fresh rich sites. Mainland sites formerly mapped as MHWH are being re-evaluated. Windward moist maritime Imhum 1 is dominated by mountain hemlock and Pacific silver fir. Yellow cedar places third in abundance and western hemlock becomes increasingly significant with decreasing elevation. Leeward moist maritime Imhum 2 has all of the windward tree species plus subalpine fir. Topic: Engelmann spruce, subalpine fir (ESSF). Over most of southern British Columbia, spruce dominates the canopy of mature stands in the Engelmann spruce subalpine fir (ESSF) zone, while subalpine fir is most abundant in the understory. 
At higher elevations, particularly in the north and in wet, heavy snowfall areas, subalpine fir dominates and spruce is a minor component. In southern British Columbia, the spruce is pure Engelmann, but white spruce characteristics become increasingly evident northward, first only at lower elevations, then at all elevations. At the northern limits of the ESSF, Engelmann spruce characteristics are rare. Subalpine fir is ubiquitous in the ESSF and is the most common associate of spruce throughout. Lodgepole pine is the most common seral species. Deciduous species, such as trembling aspen, paper birch, and black cottonwood, are present but uncommon. Whitebark pine and, in southeastern British Columbia only, limber pine and alpine larch occur in association with spruce, especially in the driest ecosystems, usually at high elevations, where spruce is not abundant. At low elevations in the ESSF, associates of spruce are Douglas fir, western red cedar western hemlock and western white pine. Mountain hemlock and amabilis fir Abies amabilis are also found with spruce in the ESSF, principally adjacent to the mountain hemlock zone. The dominant plant community in the ESSF has an understory of ericaceous shrubs, mainly Rhododendron albiflorum, Vaccinium membranaceum, and Menziesia ferruginea, with Vaccinium ovalifolium in high precipitation areas and V. scoparium in dry areas. Ribes lacusta, Oplopanax horridus and Lonicera involucrata are common shrubs on moist to wet sites. Herbs characteristic of the ESSF forest include Valeriana sicensis, Gymnocarpium dryopteres, Rubus pedatus, Streptopus roseus, Veratrum viride, Ethereum filix femina, Cornus canadensis, Lycopodium anatinum, Tiarella spp., and Arnica cordifolia. Dominant bryophytes are Pleurosium shrubberry, Dicranum spp., and Barbilophosia spp. Lichens are abundant on the forest floor and include Peltigera spp., Nephroma arcticum, and Cladonia spp. At the upper parkland elevations of the ESSF, closed forest and tree islands of spruce and subalpine fir are interspersed with moist herb meadows and drier ericaceous heath. The meadows typically include the herbs, Valeriana sicensis, Veratrum viride, Senecio triangularis, Lupinus arcticus, Thalactrum occidentale, Epilobium angustifolium, Pedicularis bracteosum, Castethleja miniata, Erigeron peregrinus, Carex spp., and Luzula spp. Subalpine heath includes Empetrum nigrum, Cassiope mertensiana, C. tetragona, Philodos empetriformis, P. glandulifera, and Vaccinium caespitosum. Coates et al. 1994. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Montane spruce (MS). The MS occurs at mid-elevations in the south and central interior in the lee of the coast mountains. Its climate is characterized by cold winters and short warm summers, and is warmer in all seasons than in the Engelmann spruce subalpine fir zone. Hybrid spruce and subalpine fir dominate climax forests. Younger seral stands are thick with lodgepole pine to such a degree that the species is one of the zone's most important natural resources. Douglas fir is present, especially in warmer microclimates. Western larch is present in some southeastern areas, and western red cedar may be seen in moist sections. This zone provides important summer and fall habitat for deer and moose and important winter habitat for mountain caribou. <laughs> Bunchgrass BG. The bunchgrass zone is the warmer of the two biogeoclimatic zones in British Columbia which lack trees. It is most commonly found in deeply incised valleys east of the coast mountains and within their rain shadow. Drought, not cold as in the alpine tundra, at, minimizes forest or woodland development. Winters are moderately cold throughout the BG, with frequent though usually light precipitation. Incidence and quantity of precipitation decrease after January, and spring months see little rain. 
A second rain peak occurs in June, but the quantity rarely matches evaporation, therefore, winter is the primary moisture recharge season. Summers are warm in northern parts of the BG, and hot in low elevation southern areas such as the Thompson River Valley between Kamloops and Lytton. The bunch grass plants tend to be widely spaced. Between them a cryptogam crust is present, and shrub cover under climax conditions may reach 15%. Weeds and cacti often replace bunch grass on overgrazed land. Although this zone is officially non-forest, trees may be seen here and there. Groves of trembling aspen are occasional at higher elevations, and riparian areas can be lush with aspen, black cottonwood, mountain alder, willows, and many associated understory plants. Scattered individuals and groves of ponderosa pine form a parkland in some areas, and Douglas fir can also be present in a similar way. Topic: <laughs> Ponderosa pine (PP). White spruce or white times Engelmann hybrids are found only rarely within the ponderosa pine (PP) zone and occur in cool, moist, sheltered situations, e.g., steep north-facing canyon headwalls. Coates et al. 1994. Douglas fir is more common and can be dominant on moist sites, but mesic or xeric terrain hosts ponderosa pine as the most abundant species. Two subzones are recognized, the very dry hot PPXH around Lytton, Lilut, Kamloops and the Okanagan Valley south of Vernon, and the dry hot PPDH found in or near Midway, Grand Forks, and parts of the Rocky Mountain Trench from just north of Cranbrook south to the Kukanusa Reservoir. <laughs> Interior Douglas fir IDF. Hybrid Engelmann times white spruce is secondary to Douglas fir, and occurs mainly in wetter subzones and at higher elevations transitional to the montane spruce, sub-boreal spruce, and Engelmann spruce subalpine fir zones. The most common associate of spruce is Douglas fir, which dominates the zone. Lodgepole pine is abundant in the interior Douglas fir zone but tends to be present only in small amounts on the wetter spruce sites. Western red cedar, western larch, and grand fir Abbeys grandis occur together with spruce, particularly in the southeastern part of the zone. Trembling aspen, paper birch, and black cottonwood are common seral species, and bigleaf maple is present in some parts of the southwestern coastal transition area wet warm subzone or IDFWW. Mixed shrub or horsetail dominated plant communities are typical of moist, rich ecosystems that include spruce. Common shrub associates include Ribes lacusta, Lonicera involucrata, Cornus sericea, Rosa acicularis, Symphoricarpos albus, and Acer glabrum. The well developed herb layer contains Linea borealis, Cornus canadensis, Aurelia nudicaulis, Actia rubra, and Osmoresia calensis, together with Equisetum and Carex spp., on wetter sites. Bog forests with Sphagnum spp., Ledum groenlandicum, and Galtheria hispidula are infrequent but usually have a tree canopy of pure spruce. Coates et al., 1994. Topic: Coastal Douglas fir (CDF). Coastal Douglas fir is often predominant in southern coastal British Columbia, particularly on eastern Vancouver Island, the Gulf Islands, and the Seashelt Peninsula. The climate is CSB, cool Mediterranean, and the droughty summers inhibit development of a climax western red cedar grand fir association. Arbutus or shore pine accompany Douglas fir on dry, nutrient poor to medium sites. Gary oak occupies some dry, rich sites, especially around Victoria. Other prominent deciduous trees include bigleaf maple and western flowering dogwood. The only official subzone is moist maritime. CDFMM. <laughs> Interior cedar Hemlock 
Interior spruce is a common secondary component of interior cedar hemlock forests. It is most abundant in the northern and eastern parts of the zone, close to the sub-boreal spruce zone, or at high elevations bordering the Engelmann spruce subalpine fir zone. It is least abundant in drier parts of the Ick. White spruce, Engelmann spruce, and their hybrids are all present, Engelmann spruce dominating in southeastern British Columbia, particularly at high elevations, and white spruce dominating in the north. In the coast interior transition of northwestern British Columbia, interior spruce hybridizes with Sitka spruce and their cross is called Roche spruce. The Ick has a greater diversity of tree species than any other interior zone. Western hemlock and western red cedar are climax species in most variants, and interior spruce often accompanies them as a secondary component. Subalpine fir is a major associate to the north. Black cottonwood, lodgepole pine, trembling aspen, and paper birch are found with spruce in seral communities throughout most of the zone. In the central and southern Ick, spruce may also occur in association with Douglas fir, western larch, western white pine, and grand fir. A typical spruce or red cedar spruce stand on a seepage ecosystem has a diverse shrub layer dominated by Oplopinax horridus, Ribes lacustre, Cornus cerisia, Acer glabrum, Rubus parviflorus, Viburnum adule, and Lonicera involucrata. Characteristic herbs include Gymnocarpium dryopteres, Ethereum filix femina, Tiarella unifoliata, Viola glabella, Circaia alpina, Streptopus spp, Osmoresia calensis, Dryopteres assimilis, and Actia rubra. On swampier sites, Lysichiton americanum, Equisetum spp, and Ritidiadelphus triquetris and Hylocomium splendens are found. Seral communities on mesic sites in the north of the Ick have a mixed overstory of spruce, subalpine fir, lodgepole pine, paper birch, and trembling aspen. Typical shrubs are, Rubus parviflorus, Viburnum adule, Rosa acicularis, Paxistema myrcinites, Amelanchia alnifolia, Shepherdia canadensis, Alnus viridis, and Vaccinium membranaceum. Major herbs include, Cornus canadensis, Clintonia uniflora, Aurelia nudicaulis, Lathyrus nevidensis, Rubus pubescens, Smilochina spp, Orthilia secunda, Osmoresia calensis, and Petocytes palmatis. The moss carpet is dominated by Ritidiadelphus triquetris, Tilium crista castrensis, Pleurosium shriberi, and Hylocomium splendens. Coates et al. 1994. In some subzones, either the cedar or the hemlock can be scarce to the point of absence. The ICHDK dry cool around Canham Lake and the ICHMK moist cool in the Rocky Mountains lack hemlock, while in the northwest the ICHVC very wet cold along parts of the Bell Irving, Iscoot and Stikine rivers is beyond the range of cedar. Cedar is also absent, and hemlock very scarce, in the area mapped as ICHWC wet cold around Bob Quinn Lake, the forests strongly resemble those of the sub-boreal spruce zone and a Bob Quinn Lake phase ICHWC -a has been proposed. <laughs> Coastal western hemlock CWH. A very productive rain-fed forest occurs along the British Columbia coast from Haida Gwaii and Stewart south to Mechosan on Vancouver Island. It also extends inland along river valleys from coastal parts of Alaska, crossing into British Columbia as far north as the Chilkat River. Western hemlock is a dominant climax species throughout, frequently accompanied by western red cedar from the Stewart area south. Douglas fir is often present and sometimes dominant in warmer, drier sections as far north as Kamano, while Sitka spruce is important in wet areas near tidewater. Other wet climate trees include yellow cedar and Pacific silver fir. The coastal western hemlock zone is divided into hypermaritime, maritime and submaritime subzones. The outer coast, from Haida Gwaii and Prince Rupert south to Port Renfrew, is hypermaritime. Away from the most direct marine influence, the subzone is maritime, and heavily populated in southern areas Campbell River, Comox, Courtney, Port Alberni, Vancouver. 
The submaritime lies farther east, and is transitional to interior zones. See also List of forest regions and districts of British Columbia <laughs>